Hi guys, okay, so today in part two of uh, logarithm, I'm going to teach you how to prove laws of log. Now, of course, we know the laws of log. We can always memorize because we only have three that we need to know, okay? Product law, okay? Product law means it's times. So, if let's say you have log xy to the base of a, it will be log uh, x base of a plus log y to the base of a now the x and y which is product becomes a uh, plus okay when we separate them now another law that we know is quotient law quotient law is uh, divide okay quotient means divide so if let's say we have log a x over y so it's going to be log x base a minus so divide will be minus okay log y base a okay so this one is quotient then the third one that we know is power law okay what is power law i mean it has power okay so for example log a x to the power of m okay so what will happen to the power the power will go right will jump and go to the front so this is becomes a log okay m log x base a now, the real question is, this is where your understanding comes in. How to prove? How to prove this? Okay, so now to do proving, actually, it's very simple. Okay, when you want to prove something, you need to have something initially. Okay, what you need to have is, first, okay, you let x okay we always always in maths we use x and y right so we let x equal to a to the power of m okay let's say one and then another one we let y equals to a to the power of n okay we just leave it like that so this will be the first step then now the second step is change this okay to log form write this in log form so write this in log form okay when we write this in log form if you still remember my part one i've already guided you on writing the log form so it's going to be log okay x what is the base a and the m will be written like this okay again uh, so this one will be log y base a n will be written like this okay so cool we already have this log form and we also have the initial form all right so this is how you start okay now when you already have this let's start with product okay let's prove product law first okay product means we are going to times that means let's say okay if x times y okay x times y so that means it's going to be x y right okay so if x times y, okay, what is x? x is a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Okay, so this is going to be xy equals to a m plus n. Correct? Because we have the same base. So the power, all right, the index we get plus. Now, write this in logarithm form. Okay, we're going to write, write in log form. Huh? So this is going to be log x y what will be the base the base will be a okay, a goes down here and here it's going to be m plus n okay what is m refer back to this what is m so m i'm going to write this one log a log x to the base of a what is n n is this so i'm going to write log y to the base of a okay so since i got that it's going to be like this log xy base a equals to m is this just copy back plus copy back Ta-da! we have proved our product law okay so this is how we prove the first one now the second one quotient law so product means times quotient means divide Okay, so let's look at quotient. So the second one, I'm proving quotient law. So in this case now, of course, it's going to be x divided by 
y. Okay, what is x? Refer back. a to the power of m. What is y? a to the power of n. Okay, so this is going to be a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Okay, so we have this. Now what we need to do, since we know these two have the same base, what we do to the power? The power is going to be minus. So it's going to be m minus n. Okay, the index we can minus. Now write this in logarithm form. So it's going to be log x over y. Okay, what is the base? The base will be a. So what is the value is going to be here? It's going to be m minus n. Now what is m? What is n? Again, refer to what we have did in this first step. What is m? Log a, log uh, x base a. What is n? Log y base a. So just copy back. Okay, so this is going to be log x base a minus log y base a. And we have proved our quotient law. Okay, I hope you guys are getting this because this is easy. Okay, this is easy once you know to start with which. Okay, now the third one. Okay, the third one is product law. Okay, so for product law, if you okay, if you ignore the step, okay, I want you to follow together with me. If you have a paper with you, follow together with me. So that you uh whatever we are learning here, okay, it's not just one way which is you just watch, but at the same time you do together with me. Okay, you do together with teacher. Alright. So if let's say now here, let's say x to the power of p. Okay, now it's a power. Huh? Okay, if it's a power, so this is what is x? x is a m okay a to the power of m so that means it's going to be a to the power of m times p all right cool so we get like this a m p or it can be a p m all right now what we do we write uh okay okay so now we are going to write in log form so this is going to be log x power of p what will be the base the base is the a comes down here and here is going to be mp all right then now here what happens here so m and p right okay so do we have the value for m yes which is log x base a so this is going to be like this m is log a x p Okay, so what we are going to do, the P we are going to write in front because always we write the variable in front. We don't write it at the back. Okay, so it's going to be P log X base A. So that means this is equal to this. Correct, right? Because the P will come down, right? Remember, that's not at all. The P will jump down. So yes, the P is actually jump down. So I hope you guys follow together with teacher. And uh, I'll see you in my next video, which is part 3. I think log is getting interesting for many of you. So many of you have been replying me and saying that you guys understand and want more examples. So of course, I'll keep uh, trying my, my level best to update every day. Okay, so stay uh, working hard on AdMats. Keep doing your practices every day. And I'll see you in my next video.